Hi guys, this is a video to show the changes I've made to the DDJ SZ stock mapping so for record box. This is natively supported, of course, but it has a mapping. And uh, I, ch I made a customization to this mapping to enable more color effects other than the standard ones on the mixer. Uh, to add the keyboard mode, just like the DDJ 1000 and to change the ability to change the transition between the videos on the controller. So let me start the music. Let's do a loop so that it's easy to hear the effects. This is the effects of the mixer, nothing special here. Filter, echo, and so on. The new effects are these ones, the, the red buttons. So when you press symbol, it's actually crush. And then you control it on the beat, on the big button here. This one is dub echo. With a tail. This one is filter, the same filter as here, but now this button is the parameter of the filter and the crush and all these things in record box. So what's the difference? Let's, let's get the filter, nothing special here, but now if we do the parameter to the max for demo purposes. So this controls the resonance of the filter. If it's off, there is no resonance. Same story for crash. This is then the amount of filtering on crash. The noise. This one, and then the parameter is the volume. For noise, you can always use the other deck, for example, four, and then do like this. Notice that Contrary to the hardware uh, um, filters and color effects, when you stop pressing, the effect stops. And uh, another thing, these buttons are overloaded. This is for the original sounds, like this. Of course, you don't want them at the same time, so please turn your volume down and set it to 3, so that it's also down, so they have a double safety to not do this really, really cheesy <laughs> samples. So, volume down, number 3, volume down. You can still do 4 decks, but then keep the volume down always. And then you get, you get like this. So to recap one more time, noise, crush, dub echo, filter with resonance parameter. Next topic, uh, the keyboard mode. So when you press um, slicer, Slicer is now beat jump, you can see here, moving 8x8. Eight eight. This is really useful on, for example, long breakdowns like this track. And then you can do a, a radio version 
radio edit more or less on the fly by jumping. Please respect the melody, in this case it's like 16. Or 32. If you press shift slicer, then it's the, the keyboard mode. With the, on a certain Q button. When you press again, it shows which Q button you want. For example, this one. And now we are in the, in the middle of the track. This one resets. Shift of Q is the same, but without a Q. So it's always moving on. Moving on. The, the last change is on in hot cue mode these two parameters uh, select the video transition uh, between two videos so let's get the other one going this is the main video uh, uh, window that goes to the audience and really convenient every time I swap videos I want to show a different way so this goes one by one now it's wipe lattice so this is the random way this button here squeeze blink and so on so the list is quite big as you know and it's really not convenient to go by hand and select the one you want so every time you want to change, get a new one, this is pretty cool. The second one is, is the same, but in a sequence. So if you, if, you know, if you know exactly what you want, click several times until you get it. This is blinds. This is drop, really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, any comments, Please tell uh, on, on, as a comment on this video. See you later.